What's up guys, welcome back. So in our original React um, menu monkey, we were sorting by the created at um, date. And currently we don't have that field. And so that's something we actually need to um, change in our database. Or not our database, our uh, server. So to do that, we're gonna do feathers generate hook. And so I'm gonna call this add created at, this will be a before hook. For recipes and that's going to be when we create it. So vim source hooks, sorry not hook, services, recipes, no actually it is hooks. Add create, it just looked different than I thought I was going to. Um, and this is going to be very simple. It'll just be hook.data is equal to hook.data or er, do object.sign what this does is it just copies basically data and adds a new attribute to it. And actually, what am I doing? I'm getting fancy for no reason. Dot created at is equal to new date. And that's it. So it'll start the server back up. Now when I create an object with this, we should see that. So call it R1. It's gonna have the same image here. A1, A2, stuff, submit. And console. And it looks like we're just not, oh, we're not transitioning to the next page. What are you about that in a second? Um, and we see owner ID and created at. So now we can sort by that. But so R1 should become before that. So what we can do is in our home page, here we can add a query. And the query is going to be the same thing. It's going to be this. And I guess, I think I just need to add spaces. Oh, it doesn't need to be quoted. Cool. Space maybe? Yeah. So now I'm thinking, yep, and now R1 you'll notice is before A, perfect. So that's being sorted. So Remember add recipes, that should be going to the next page. So add recipe this guy. So we're gonna create a redirect function and we're gonna do this dot props dot history dot push and we will push, I guess after we're done, we want to go to the actual single page. So we want to view and pass in the ID here. We want to go to that, so slash view slash pass in the ID. And of course, we'll have data here again. And, oops. Slash view ID. Let's make sure. Slash view. Yep, it was slash view. All right, so that looks good. Now I actually need to get that to work. So that'll be, where would that be? Request add recipe will be in the saga. And that'll be right here. So after we're done adding the recipe, we can redirect. So payload, we need to expand. We get redirect and we get data. We'll pass the data into our function and then we'll redirect response dot 
ID. And I think their ID is underscored. Um, and I wanted to make sure I'm just returning it here. So this will be your recipe. Yeah, that was right. So if I go to the API and I, yep, create, I'm returning. Awesome. So now we should go to that view page and single recipe. This guy right here. And the one we're requesting is of this ID. So now we can do a query just like we did with the other one. So, oops, other way. If I come down here, this is the query I'd want to do. Fetch my recipes, fetch, there we go. Query, and I can just write it out. Query, oops. So we want the ID to match the ID, and we want to limit it to one. Okay, and then request recipe will then go to not the user saga, but this. This will be fetch recipe, call recipe, and I think, am I handling in the reducer? Yep, I'm handling in the reducer, but it's an array, converting it over. Okay, so if I click on this, oh, push is not defined, we'll Worry about that in a second. First, let's make sure this redirects now. Not give it our name R2. A, B, C, submit. And we submit, and now we go to this page, but we have a problem. Can I read recipe ID of undefined? Um, recipe capital ID, where are we doing recipe capital ID? Oh, should be passing recipe there to add recipe succeeded. Add recipe succeed, oh, recipe fetch done. I have some really bad naming. We're gonna fix the naming. Fetch recipe done. Fetch recipe done. Okay. That's what we'll pass back to the reducer. I am I doing recipe? Ah, recipe ID right here. Oh. So this is params we're not getting, I'm assuming, because I need to do the same thing in the index here with the render. So render props dot 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 props. All right, now refresh. Let's see if this page looks good. Okay, recipe ID is still undefined. So let's go to, come back here, come back to the single view. Oh, this should be on component will mount. That's not the main problem. That's one of the problems though. It won't actually cause a problem, but and do console.log this.props. Let's see what the props are on this puppy. Because we we basically want to be able to get this ID. So it's no longer a params location path name match match params. Okay. You put match first. There we go. 
Now this can reset. Loading. So when do we stop showing loading? If has own property name. I guess we can just see the property of here. Loading React Sigma SP. Cur SP. Oh, it's empty. Okay, so Cur SP is not being filled. So reducer Cur SP is get recipe fetch done. API. That's what that's doing. Saga. Call fetch recipe. Recipe fetch requested. When is recipe fetch requested? Recipe. Um, what am I requesting? I'm calling request recipe. Request recipe. Recipe fetch requested. Recipe fetch requested. Yep. Calls this here. So let's do console.log here. And then let's see what the recipe returned is. It might it might have to do like a dot data on it or something, I'm thinking. So it's an object, yep, and I just need to do data. So recipe.data. There we go. Um, same thing. I noticed that it was empty though, so that could be a problem. Limit to one, but we're not finding anything. Okay, let's go back here. So we're doing id this.props recipe id. And now console log to make sure this.props.match.params. Uh, recipe ID. Let's see what the value of that is. Should expect it to be that. And it is. So that's very weird that the find is not working. And find is working for the other one. So it's literally just the underscore ID. I thought, I'm pretty sure it's underscore ID. This is the ID field. I don't think this will fix it. Yep, doesn't fix it. But if I go here, I can find it, right? So like this 590, I expect his ID to equal that. So if I go here, recipes, We get 590.7c. Yep, 7c underscore id. So we're querying and we're trying to find one that's equal to it, but we're not able to. Interesting. I'm wondering if something's being typed in wrong, possibly. Let's fix these link real quick. So card, sp card on click um, yeah let's do a link for now I hope that doesn't make it look too ugly then we'll come in and fix it later because it's harder to get browser history now it's hard to get that to work how we want it to and to pass we would have to like pass it down through the props or something which I, I might end up doing but here we go so slash view slash dollar sign underscore ID and this is all red why is it all red oh because it needs to be wrapped like that and then link there we go and now we don't need an on click unterminated what does it mean by that? Okay. So it messed up the rendering a little bit, but if I click, it takes me here. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, should I have a key prop? Key. I. Okay. Alright, so that is not fixing it. Um, also, we should set the key as the ID here. Alright, so yeah, I'm not sure why the find is not working. So I'm going to end it here, figure out why the find is broken, and in the next video, we will get this working. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.